Here we have a slightly different one. We've got a frequency table. So what I've done is you've given the scores from 47 to 52, and then the frequencies. I've added in a cumulative frequency, which is adding each successive one. So I've got four, then I add the seven to four, you get 11, 12 to 11, gets 23, etc. So 60 is the total number of scores, basically. So we're gonna do our summary again. So minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, max. So we get our five number summary. We can fill in the lowest score, which is 47. And the highest score is 52. So it's quite condensed, actually, this one. And I'll do a sort of more expanded out one to see how we go. So we need to find the median. So 60 scores, that's the total cumulative frequency. So there's 60 scores in this set. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. So there's going to be two halves of 30. All right, so imagine that this is, this is your set of data. It's 60 scores. That's score number 1, that's score number 60. We cut that in half. On this side, it's 30. On this side, it's 31. So we need to think, well, where is my 30th and my 31st score? Now, so first four scores are 47. Then the next seven, up to the 11th score, is 48. And then everything from the 12th to the 23rd score is 49. And then everything from the 24th score, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, all the way up to the 44th is 50. So that means that our median has to be 50. Median, the Q2, is 50, has to be. Because that's the score, if I wrote it in a long list from the 24th, 21 scores from the 24th to the 44th score would be the score of 50. All right. So now, in a sense, we've got two halves of 30. So if I was to cut these in half again, if I thought about that, then cut 30 in half, you get 15 on one side, the 15th score and the 16th score. I'll put the little TH, 15th and 16th. And this one, if I was to cut it, well, that would be my 40. 5th score and 46th score. 45th and 46th. So I need to find the 15th and 16th, and then 31 to 45 is 15 scores, 46 to 60 is 15 scores. So we need to think about that. So the first one, let's have a think again. The 15th and 16th, well, we've already done that actually. So the first four, it's 47. The next seven, up to the 11th. And then the 15th and 16th score are 49. They sit inside here. So our Q1 is 49. Then 45th and 46th, well, up to the 44th score is 50. Then the next 10, which is the 45th, the 46th, the 47th, are all 51. So my Q1 is 50, sorry, my Q1 is 49, my Q3 is 51. It's not going to be a particularly interesting uh, box and box plot, but we're going to have the data. So we see how we use the cumulative frequency, thinking about the total number of scores like I've done here, and we break it into parts. And we think, okay, let's cut it in half. So it's the 30th score, that's the 31st score, 45th, 46th, that's the 60th score, that's the first score. And how we divide and what other scores? Well, they're the actual scores as listed there. So once we have that, I'm actually going to do this one slightly differently. I'm going to do it a bit bigger because, well, it can, I guess. And uh, we'll just mark it. So let's do, I only need 47, 48, 49. So six spots. So we're going to go like this, 40, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So we only need to include 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, and 47. So that covers me. And so my middle 50%, Q1 is 49, Q3 is 51. And so I'm just going to do a slightly bigger box for this. And so I could actually just do a rectangle around that. So 49 to 51, so I'm going to do it like that. So, you know, you can do different styles at different times. That's my box. And then 50 was my median, halfway along. So I'm going to do a straight line down the middle. 
That's my median Q2. I've got that. And then I'm going to mark out little whiskers. 52 is my highest score. 47 is my lowest score. And then we just connect that with a straight line. And there you have it. So we've got our box and whisker plot there. That's probably slightly nicer, a bit taller. Looks a bit more solid than the previous ones. But that's what we have. So you can go and have a go at the exercise that I've listed down. I think it's 8C and see how you go with that.